Good morning, so Sports Princess back with another video. Um, something else I want to talk about. Um, when people say don't leave it in the hands of the judges or you have to beat the champ to be the champ, here's my question. Who does that really apply to? Which fighters does that apply to? And which fighters doesn't apply to? Because I can tell you, you got fans applying that to some fighters and then not applying that to other fighters. Now, I'm going to use Valentina Shevchenko as an example. That second fight with Nunes was a split decision. Now, 90% of people, a majority of people, thought she won the fight. I've rewatched that fight, and I really thought that Valentina won. It was a very close fight. So if you thought Amanda Nunes won, then I can't really... I can't argue because it was that close. But you got people saying that Valentina didn't do enough to beat to beat Amanda Nunes. That a man like you know like oh like you know you're like well Valentina didn't do enough to beat the champ. So to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. You got people who made that made that made that uh, same argument for Valentina. I was like, okay. That's understandable. Valentina didn't convincingly take the belt from Amanda Nunes. So, yeah, okay. But then, Valentina, who is the champion, who is the current champ, wins by split, to the, wins by split decision. But then... They're going and saying, well, Talia Santos won. She should have won that fight. She did enough to win. Like, blah, 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 blah. You didn't make that. You got these same fans. You made that argument with Valentina against Amanda Nunes. But you don't make that same argument with Talia Santos. You told Valentina she didn't do enough to win the fight against Amanda Nunes. And now you're telling Talia Santos that she did that she did enough to win. That don't make no sense. You're saying she didn't convincingly beat Valentina, but she still should have gotten the belt. You applied that. You applied when Valentina was the challenger. You applied the whole. She, you gotta. You, she didn't beat the champ to take the belt. So Valentina shouldn't have got the belt. But then here you go. Valentina, who is the champion, wins the belt and saying, well, she shouldn't have won. Here's the thing. If you're going to make that kind of argument, do it with all the fighters. Sarah Kaufman was very critical of Valentina with that, about that second fight with Amanda Nunes when she lost. Sarah Kaufman was very critical of Valentina not doing enough to win. That telling her, oh, you didn't do enough to, to take the belt. But then, Ketlin Vieira versus Holly Holm. Now, guys, Sarah Kaufman and Holly Holm are buddies because they train together at the same gym. They're buddies. Sarah Kaufman didn't make that same argument for Holly Holm when Holly Holm lost. She made that same argument. She told Valentina she didn't do enough to win the fight. And then she's telling Holly Holm that she did enough to win the fight. No, she didn't. Holly had more damage done to her. So... Here's my question. That's that's the thing. Which fighters are you applying the don't leave it in the hands of the judges? Or the whole to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. Who are you applying that to? Because I'm going to tell you something. You can't apply that 
to this fighter and not apply it to another fighter. Can't do that. So, I wanted to make this video because I really want people to really think about it. Because to me, I think people are doing it based off of which fighters they like and don't like. Guys, I'm a die-hard Valentina Shevchenko fan. And let me tell you something. Talia Santos almost beat her. She almost won. She could have won that fight had she threw some elbows. And she didn't do it. Guys, I'm giving Talia Santos some credit. She could have won this fight. That's all she would have had to do. She could have won this fight. <coughs> Guys, I'm not making no excuses for, for Valentina, okay? I thought she won the fight against Amanda Nunes. I did. I thought she won. But, like I said, Valentina didn't do enough to take the belt from her. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, that's just the way it is. So, I'm... I made, I made that same argument for Valentina against Nunes. I'm going to make that same argument for Talia Santos. The reason I'm not saying that for Valentina in this fight is because she's the champ. It's not Valentina's job. Valentina's not the challenger. She's the champ. Valentina doesn't have to do as much to keep her belt. It's the challengers that have to do the most work to get the belt. Like, champions, all they got to do is fight a smart fight. And they're keeping that belt. Even if it wasn't dominant. As long as they, as long as they do enough to keep the belt, they don't have to do much to be able to keep that belt because they are the champ. And it's the challenger's job to take that belt. So, but yeah, guys, who does it apply to? Who are you applying this whole narrative that you have to be the that you have to beat the champ to be the champ? You can't leave it in the hands of the judges. Who are you applying that to? Think about who you're applying that to and not applying that to. This is Sports Princess. I'm out.